Hello, my name is Charlotte Josephine from the Nocturne Cafe and today I wanted to sit down in front of the camera and do a bit of an informal reflection on how far things have come before our opening day which is hopefully fingers crossed planned for the 6th of September which is in about two weeks, less than two weeks and since then We've met so many exciting and creative people and this vision has come so much further than either of us could have ever expected. Uh, my partner, Daniel Dudek, is now taking over the Nocturne Coffee Roastery um, and you will see our coffee on the shelves and hopefully on other people's shelves and on your shelf at home um, because we're selling that through our Etsy channels, which I'll link here and down below and we'll be serving that all the time we've got three amazing single origins the kenya bora for the beethoven which has a much more chocolatey undernote than most kenya and the honduras which is we call mozart due to its versatility in all sorts of brewing methods we've found it produces like a set of variations similar to a mozart sonata when you run it through a v60 or even just an espresso machine on different grinds that's a great one to have a home and the decaf which we're getting great feedback on a brilliant response for that it's sweet it's i hope you will come into the cafe or make it at home for yourself even when you don't really need to choose the decaf option um or even when you do um if you can't have caffeine at that time and find that it's a perfect just flavor alternative it should be considered a drink in its own right that brings me on to my second point of why i'm so excited this has gone so much further than just breaking the norm breaking the low line and trying to aim a bit higher in our standards um it all started when I looked at someone opening a pot of a pre-made chai spice powder that you'd get off the shelf from Sainsbury's as they made my drink and um, walking away just feeling this sort of sinking feeling in my stomach. Uh, I'd paid four pounds for that and I wish I had had something that felt more personal because the person who was making the drink clearly knew what they were doing. They made brilliant coffees for my friends. Um, something tells me that no one's really happy serving that sort of thing. Um, so that's what started it all, this roller coaster that's turned into roasting our own coffee, which has turned into sourcing even more deep suppliers through all depths of the internet. Uh, spending the last months and months waiting to move into our place just contacting people phoning going to events tasting and having a great time at the Sheffield Coffee Festival at uh, the Yemeni coffee tasting and just seeing what we could do what we could do to take things further um, provide an experience you couldn't get anywhere else we got in contact with independent booksellers from all over the UK, all over the world, um, just through a Reddit post that gained so much support from passionate, independent, self-published authors. And now we're able to present our cafe with a 100% self-published bookshelf, which I have to try hard not to get emotional about this because I was a writer myself and I published a self-published book and nobody read it because I was doing my exams, I didn't have time to market it. And it would have made my entire life at that point just have someone have picked up my book. And now there's a place where you can put it. There's a place where people will read it and you won't be judged for it. People will love the amount of new content you'll find there, things, from every different personality, uh, every different genre. And that's just a bookshelf that's that's hidden away in a corner. Funny story, it's a vintage fridge freezer. Um, we'll be doing that up soon. <laughs> thanks, thanks to my landlord <laughs> for leaving that behind for us. Another thing that has just surprised me with the amount of 
response that we've gotten is the bakery, the the food, the drinks, the things you'll actually be eating, and the those are just stunning the amount of passion that we're able to bring to this one small cafe in the corner of Greater Manchester, um, in the West Midlands in Stockport. There's so many small shining stars out there. And that's why we've decided to paint the ceiling with stars. Um, the Nocturne Cafe highlights those people who are shining out there somewhere hidden in the dark. Um, we want to let them shine. So if you have any creative passions, anything you want to pick up, you're welcome to come here and try, try it. There's, it's never too late. It's been overused so many times, but... I really hope that this will be a source, a space of inspiration for so many people who these days after everything we've been through the last couple of years feel a bit lost, that they've maybe lost a couple of things that they once loved to do. That work takes over your life and it seems like there's no time for anything but there is in these small moments of sitting down with a drink and when you feel in the right mindset there's so much that can change in that one moment in that one moment I started to open this cafe and I just can't stress it enough that following your dreams is something that's that's true and it's possible we've done it no matter how this goes from here. I'm so excited for the future, for what comes next, for writing our story. And it hasn't been easy. It's, you know, I, I know a lot of people are gonna say, you know, it hasn't, it hasn't been easy. Being a two person team. And at some point I, I do the main graphic design the advertising I've been out on the streets of Stockport handing out free samples of our coffee um you know just letting people know that there's something out there something small something here and I want to reach out more and more so if you can share this if you can invite people that you know and let's let's spread the word let's get this community out to people that need it so I want to say another big thank you to all the artists who have drawn amazing pictures. Thank you. Um, you're, you're welcome to come in for a coffee. Um, everyone that helped is um, bespoke coffee. You've been amazing. Um, you really helped with our fundraiser and we really hope to see you there. He's on the other side of the stock floor down the Heatons. Give him a go. Um, just a big thank you to everything that has made this possible um i can't wait till you get to experience our vision and step into this cafe i can't wait to make you a coffee and i'll see you soon